And then the SS method. This is something that uh, is a, uh, a good little trick to know. Now the SS method stands for the self-selection method. And what you're trying to do is actually get the freelancers to self-select themselves. And what self-selection is, is, is so many people, there's thousands and thousands of people on Elance and Odesk and all these sort of online places who are bidding for jobs. There's literally teams of people in India whose companies is built, companies are built on Elance work. And the thing they actually have, they have full-time employees going out there and your job, Mr. Employee, is to bid on Elance projects. That's all they do all day is just cut and paste their standard template application form into, the, into your actual request just to sort of fundamentally spam Elance with um, job applications. And what the uh, SS method does is it actually helps you eliminate those people straight away. That they have to actually self-select to actually be chosen. So what you want to do at the bottom of your actual job application is put three unique questions. They can be related to the job, they can be completely irrelevant. What did you have for breakfast? You know, what's your favourite movie? I actually do some weird stuff like that sometimes. I actually say at the end of my job um, description or job ad, what's your favourite movie? And that way when you get your 50 responses back, you just go through them. Who answered the questions? Who even didn't answer the questions? Delete, 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 delete. It saves you from spending five minutes reading the job ad. They're not going to take the time to read your job ad properly and respond to it in the way you want. They're self-selected. They don't want to be involved. They're not serious players. So you only want to work with people who actually uh, are active and proactive in actually wanting your work. And it also shows you who actually listens. Because one of the thing is, things too is that if people aren't going to actually read your job ad properly and actually answer those questions for you, how are they going to actually work with you when you actually ask them to do something? How responsive are they going to be? Are they actually going to listen to your job ad properly, your job brief properly, your feedback properly? So you want to give some actual curveballs in the up front just to actually limit the pool of people you have to go through. Because one of the hardest things is actually going through and selecting these people. So if you can put some barriers in place to make them select for yourself, select themselves out, make your job so much easier. Uh, some of the actual online tools like Elance and Odesk actually allow you to actually, as part of the process, give three separate questions. If you have that, use that. If not, just at the bottom of your, your actual spec, just write, can you also answer these three questions? Whether it is, what did you have for breakfast? One of the things I really like to do if it's actually a, a decent sized job is, um, given your experience in this area, what other things have I missed in my brief do you think would make this project better? And actually make them think about it. Make them offer some value. Well, look, I would actually put the opt-in box a bit differently. I found this really works. Or um, in some software development stuff, I actually think doing it on uh, Adobe Air, which is cross-platform, would be better for you because it means you can actually run it on Mac and PC. You know, that might be their response. So ask them some questions. They're actually going to make them value add to you because that's going to show you wh where the premium people come from. Because again, it's all about geo arbitrage. You might find that you can get a particular task done for 100 bucks, but it's going to show you why someone's bidding you $500. It's going to actually tell you what the value they're going to add. And you can say, well, shit, this person's extra value and thoughts they put into this is worth the extra $200 I'm going to spend. So we're going to get a better value at the end of the day. So it's really important to use this SS method to actually make people self select. Makes it easy for you to choose them, makes them stand out better, makes your job a lot, lot easier in getting value. Thank <laughs> you.